At this point, you would be safe to assume that most people know who Pete Davidson and Scott Disick are. I mean, some people know Scott Disick so well that they applauded his recent Boys Night Out because of how shockingly calm it was. Although Pete seemed to be just a little bit bored. However, not everyone knows who these two are. Namely, Britney Spears has no clue who they are. Looks like someone hasn't been keeping up with Kardashians. I hate myself for that joke. Either way, she was very entertained by the pair's recent antics on Instagram. In a since deleted post, the singer reposted the video from Scott's Instagram stories where you can see from Pete's point of view that Scott and his friends had fallen asleep during their movie night, which is why he wrote, boys night was wild. And in Britney's deleted post, she writes, sorry, how to repost this? No idea who these people in the video are, but it made me laugh so hard. And the boys were apparently watching The King of Comedy starring Robert De Niro. In the 1983 film, Robert plays a man named Robert Pupkin. He's a failure in life, but a celebrity in his own mind, hosting an imaginary talk show in his mother's basement. When he meets actual talk show host Jerry Langford, played by Jerry Lewis, he's convinced it'll provide him with his big break, but Langford isn't interested in the would-be comedian. Pupkin then effectively stalks Langford, and when that doesn't work, he ends up kidnapping him, offering his release in exchange for a guest spot on Langford's show. It got 7.8 out of 10 on IMDb and 89% on Rotten Tomatoes, but 90% of people at that at-home audience in Scott's house were sound asleep, only part way through the nearly two hour film. For some people, they may be surprised that Britney has never heard of Pete or Scott, but personally, it makes a lot of sense. This really just shows you how sheltered Britney was from the outside world for those 13 years. And boy oh boy, can a lot happen in 13 years. Even despite both men being linked to the Kardashian family, who she would know through knowing Paris Hilton, or at the very least through her previous shared business manager, Lou Taylor. But nope, she still had no clue. Britney was placed under a conservatorship in February of 2008, and this was just a few months after Keeping Up With The Kardashians had premiered. And then she didn't have her full freedom back until November of 2021. So there are a lot of things that she either didn't know about or wasn't allowed to partake in. For example, since gaining her freedom, Britney claimed in January to have had her first glass of wine in 13 years. Plus, she has been doing her best to reconnect with her fans on Instagram who fought to get that freedom for her. Lately, she's been sharing everything from her love of dogs to scathing posts about her family members. Whatever she's sharing on her Instagram, though, people are here for it. And with all that Kanye drama that has been going on as of late, this was a much needed breakup in it all, and she actually roasted Pete Davidson better than Kanye, I think, ever could. I just would love to see Kanye and Pete fighting only for Britney to shout, Hey y'all, no one knows who you two are. Kim and Pete have been dating since October of 2021, whereas Courtney and Scott's relationship was on again, off again from 2006 to 2015. The pair do share three children together though, which is why Scott and Pete are even in the same circle at the moment. Although I'm sure Pete would rather be hanging out with Travis Barker and MGK. Oddly enough though, the pair do seem to be hanging out a lot more. Reportedly, the comedian had also tagged along with Scott to watch his son Rain's baseball game over the weekend as well. The reactions to this new bromance are all over the map. Some some people love it, some people hate it, although the comments I saw the most were some people just saying how jealous they were of Britney Spears for having no idea who either of them are in the first place. I'd love to hear your thoughts on all this though because that's all the time we have for today. So stay classy and I'll see you in the next one.